me how you like these interviews. Hey guys, it's Chelsea again. Thanks for tuning in. So um, last week I did a fun sketch style portrait on somebody. Um, it was a little bit intimidating at first just because I'm still new and I'm still learning, but it was something different. It was very special for her because her friend drew it and she wanted it where she could see it all the time and just kind of a reminder not to lose your innocence. Um, so that one was really fun. I also did some flowers. I've really been wanting to try out flowers. A lot of my tattoos have been centered around my husband's work and stuff, so not a lot of girly stuff. But this one was really fun. She got the bouquet of flowers with her mom's birth flower in it, and it was on the rib cage. So that was a little bit difficult, but I think it turned out great, and she loved it. So, yeah. Good job, Chelsea. So during this tattoo, I just need you to hold really still. All right, no problem. Seriously, quit moving. Okay. Hold still and... I'm trying. So these ones were my first walk-ins that I got. Um, it was a minimal tattoo with the mountains and then like the heartbeats. And it was a mother-in-law and a daughter that got matching tattoos together. And her mom was here just visiting from Florida. So that was a really fun tattoo to do. It was a little bit difficult only because there's not a lot going on in those types of tattoos. It's just very minimal. So you goof up, it, it's gonna be noticeable. Hey everybody, this is Alex and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the moth that I did last week. It was a memory tattoo for a very great client and I loved about it, it was just like it's like a universe, it's like a space, outer space kind of theme on the wings. Mm -hmm. I just love that type of art. It's usually what I like to do when I do paintings, like watercolor and like mixing all those tones of colors and just create a huge, beautiful thing. It's a little different when you tattoo it, but I enjoyed it a lot. Then after that, I just did go to Ohio. We had a pretty good time. We helped grandparents. We went to the Lake Erie. It was in Ohio. And yes, it was a great time. What's up, guys? I'm Santi, also known as Ink by Bonte on Instagram here at Sharky's Paradise. This week was a really fun week. I had a lot of clients coming through the door, did a lot of different pieces, a lot of sentimental pieces, but then a lot of also really fun random pieces. The first one that we did was some elephants stacked on top of each other holding six balloons. The balloons all represented her grandchildren, so she had, I believe it was, five granddaughters and one grandson. So we did a lot of that. She really enjoyed it. She was super happy with it, and it's something we can add to as she gets more grandchildren. Another super sentimental piece that we did this week was a traditional heart with the banner mom across it on the middle of a kneecap. That client uh, specifically requested me. He wanted to do something for his mother, so we added in some lilacs in there as well. And he just wanted something super simple in just a small little area. It was only his third tattoo and he just thought it straight to the kneecap was the way to go. The next day, I was able to do some super cool blindfold mystery tattoos as well. The way those ones worked is we had four different categories that our clients picked from between without seeing anything of what was on those note cards. From those four note cards that they picked, we then made a design for them and tattooed it on them without them knowing of what it was. We got two options, left or right. <laughs> okay. All right, left or right. 
That's right. Alright, that's right. Alright. They absolutely loved this process. It was really cool for them to step out of their comfort zone and really see something different on their bodies. It was a lot of fun for me just because I got to expand what I was doing and do something a little bit more creative. Otherwise, you know, from outside of other tattoos, always creative, but this one definitely pushed me as well. Where do you think would be a good... Um, where do you think would be a good spot for, to put that? You saw the stencil. Blindfold mystery tattoos, as we'll call them. The first one was on one of my super awesome returning clients, Caitlin. She came in, she told me she wanted the most random, dumbest tattoo I could think of without her knowing anything of what it was. I am so excited. <laughs> I love doing dumb shit. <laughs> So what we did is we did a little pickle with a top hat and a cane, it's like in a little funky position. Super dapper gentleman. She loved it. She was super excited to have it. We were a little sad we didn't do it any bigger, but she wanted just a little tiny filler piece. Uh, go ahead and take your bicycle off, Caitlin. Gotta look at what we what we did on you. <laughs> He's a little bloody right now. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's fantastic. A little, a little pickle wearing a top hat. Does he have a monocle? Oh, yep. yeah. Oh my god, that is perfect. Hell what yeah. a beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. This weekly's art challenge for animated cartoon characters. And I did Mickey Mouse and put tape over it to do like dots on the side, but it didn't work out, so I just did the whole thing. Turned out like tape was all. Uh, I don't know. Can't wait to see what you do to finish that up, buddy. Art. Tell us a little bit about what just happened. Uh, so I lost my phone and we just went in to go get a new phone. Don't know what kind. It's a bit big, but that's. That's fine, yeah. Are you gonna be able to take care of this phone? Yes, and not crack it like Chloe. How'd this make you feel? Great, so I can at least put it on a wireless charger. That's what I'm talking about, <laughs> a little action from my boy. So hopefully he takes care of this bad boy and doesn't lose it like his last phone. This last week, it was Father's Day, which was awesome for me. I probably had the best Father's Day I've ever had in my life. Uh, I was able to force my kids into hard labor all week. Thank you, kids. Sunday, my father invited us up to his place where there is a lake and some cool stuff there going on. So we did what any fun-loving family would do. We went and bought a bunch of floaty slides and crap for the lake. So the kids were jumping and playing in the lake. It was pretty cool. We went in the lake, swam, after we swam, we fished for a while, got a few bites, but we went on the tubes and stuff. But we went on to this paddle boat and we started like sinking. We had to push it all the way back. It was pretty fun. We had this big giant blow up slide that could float on the lake. We tied paddle boats to it, drifted off into <laughs> the middle of the lake. Yeah. It was Father's Day on Sunday, so we took that day and it was super fun. Got to watch my husband scrub down the boat. Um, there was a hurricane that hit us in the middle of the lake. That was really fun as everything blew out of the lake. You know, it's those moments that you get that you don't really realize are going to be so uh, impactful, but they are. And uh, so I just want to say thank you to everybody who had the opportunity to be there and say thank you to uh, the Lord for giving me that opportunity to be able to enjoy that day. You're uh, such a good father. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>